You know, Larissa, uh, I, I just have to tell you that speaking with John really hit home for me. A couple of years ago, I actually thought I was having a heart attack. It really? was Christmas Eve. Yes. So I don't. I take all of this very seriously. You know, I'm I'm laughing and having fun, but at my age, um, uh, 39. Yes, 39. <laughs> I'm. Uh, it's it it is really important yeah. that uh, that I hear some of this. Um, we've seen the drooping face. Mm -hmm. from heart attack, drooping face, slurred speech, these are all signs of a stroke, and um, uh, it affects hundreds, uh, thousands of people each year. Yeah, in fact, my father-in-law and my grandmother actually experienced strokes, and so this definitely is very personal for me as well. And uh, CCN Sunrise Health Conscious Segment star, Dr. Jerome Lisk, joins us live with more on just how fast we should act if we sus suspect someone's having a stroke. Hi, Joseph and Larissa. Stroke is the lead, third leading cause of death in the United States and the leading cause of disability. So it's important to recognize the symptoms of stroke and how to reduce your risk. Your stroke risk increases with age, especially if risk factors are not controlled early in your 20s to 40s. Learning how you can prevent stroke and help someone having a stroke in your presence is important. Here are some interesting stroke facts. Every 45 seconds, someone has a stroke in the United States. 750,000 people per year have one. Two-thirds of stroke happen in individuals over 65 years of age. Stroke costs $60,000 plus dollars in medical expenses each year per, per person. Males have a higher risk of stroke, and lifestyle change has a large effect on stroke risk. Controlling your blood pressure, monitoring your blood pressure, at home two to three times a day, writing those numbers down and taking them to your doctor's appointments are important. Other risk factors such as stop smoking. This includes e-cigarettes, lowering your cholesterol with diet, exercise, omega-3, and statin medications from your doctor. Controlling your diabetes and keeping your blood sugar at the level recommended by your doctor and checking it as instructed. Avoid foods high in saturated fat and reduce salt intake. Get tested for sleep apnea and if you snore or have pauses in your breathing at night, sleep apnea can increase your risk of memory loss, heart attacks, diabetes, high blood pressure, headaches, and stroke. And also don't use drugs. Drugs like cocaine can especially cause stroke. Symptoms of stroke can be sudden numbness or weakness on one side of the body, face, arm, or leg. Sudden confusion, difficulties understanding or speaking, speech. Sudden trouble walking, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination. Sudden severe headache or loss of vision in one eye could also be a sign of stroke. There are two types of stroke. There's an ischemic stroke where a blood clot actually clogs a blood vessel, preventing blood to the area of the brain, causing blood tissue to die. This is caused mainly from a clot from the neck, arteries in the neck, or from the heart in conditions like atrial fibrillation, which is an abnormal heartbeat. The next type of stroke is a hemorrhagic stroke. This type of stroke occurs usually with high blood pressure and occurs with bleeding in the brain. Now let me show you how you could learn how to prevent a stroke if someone's having a stroke next to you. First of all, check their face. If they have a facial droop or their smile is crooked, then they could be having a stroke. Then A, A stands for arm. If one of their arms is weak or they hold their arms out in front of themselves, and it, and it hangs, that could also be a sign of a stroke. And then S stands for speech. Speech, if they have difficulty understanding or uh, speaking, this could also be a sign of stroke as well. And then T stands for time, call 911. Because there is a clot busting medication that could dissolve stroke, and this has to be given within three hours of getting to the hospital. Now it takes doctors zero to 45 minutes or actually an hour to get all the tests and consent done. So you only have about two hours to get to the hospital. Also don't give someone aspirin, especially if they have nausea or vomiting because this could be a hemorrhage. Don't try to put something in their mouth or give them water because this could go into their lungs and they could have aspiration pneumonia. And these are the risks and symptoms of stroke, and this is how you can prevent a stroke uh, by lifestyle changes, and also you could help someone next to you that you could recognize that they're having a stroke and call 911 and get to the hospital immediately so you could reverse it.
Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Lisk. Larissa, this is shaping up into a health show. Yeah, I hope you were taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> I was taking mental notes. And as part of me feels like they want to take the fun out of everything, but as John pointed out, the alternative could be a lot worse. This is really a matter of life and death. So I hope people are taking notes at home, and um, we're going to have a really fun segment coming up, aren't we? Yes, Loa is going to be here talking to us about how to get it to get washboard abs, and you don't have to spend your whole life in the gym to do it. She's up next at the CC, CCN Sunrise Fit and Beautiful segment. I look forward to that.